Hello, people. Welcome back. Today, I am reviewing Wish, the latest movie from Walt Disney Studios. The latest animated film from Walt Disney. So, if you've been following Disney for a bit, then you'll know that 2023 has been a pretty bad year for them. This was the year that was meant to celebrate their 100th anniversary. And the big release, a lot of their big releases are just not really making the money. Like, some of them are, like, Elemental started off rough, but then became a sleeper hit. And, but, this could be um, due to the fact that people are seeing their quality declining. And I'm not sure why it's now that p people are starting to see that. And even the movies that are performing well for Disney are only performing well because people want to see that. It's what they look forward to. Whereas this year with movies like Little Mermaid, Haunted Mansion, and at first Elemental, they... People see these as just why, and they don't really, they don't really bother what, giving them a chance, which I feel bad about because Little Mermaid and Elemental, I did go see in theaters, and I did, I really liked those. I hadn't seen Haunted Mansion though. But yeah, this, this is the exact same case with Wish. Now, this movie is the actual culmination of Disney's 100 years. And how this was the true celebration of their 100 year years. I hate it when my voice cracks. And apparently, people on the internet have just been hating on this movie. Finding issues left and right. So... Now, having seen the film myself, I can safely say, I have no idea why. I do not understand. Maybe it's because I'm a super forgiving person when it comes to movies, but I found Wish a really fun and exciting time. And I do truly think this was a good anniversary culmination, especially for a hundred years. Honestly, in my opinion, despite the rough time Disney is having, especially with the box office numbers, I still think the quality of the films themselves, at least for me, are pretty good. Um, so... The, the film follows Asha, voiced by Ariana DeBose, and she um, ends up making a wish on a star, which the star actually comes down. Meanwhile, the film's villain, this sorcerer king, Magnifico? Magnifi... So I'm just gonna call him... I'm just gonna call him Chris Pine, because that's who voices him. Chris Pine tries to tries to keep that power while also while also keeping everyone's wishes. So the concept is a bit confusing for me to explain, but I'll get to that eventually. So, firstly, the animation. I heard people were mixed on it. Personally, I thought it looked pretty stunning. Seeing the rise of these different animated style films come up lately with Spider-Verse movies, um, Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem, Mitchells vs. the Machines. I always love whenever these movies come out because while it did start with Spider-Verse, um, it was... Um, 
people aren't exactly ripping this kind of style off. And... And they do it in a... Uh, and they tend to do it in a different way. For example, with Mutant Mayhem, they... I can't really explain it, but they, they, they really... They really did such a good job blending that style with their own take with the Ninja Turtles. And I think the same applies for Wish. I think it's watercolored with um, three with its CG animation, which like the watercoloring works really well with uh, Lilo and Stitch. And I think it I think it applies here. I can definitely see why this animation style for Wish wouldn't be for everyone, but. I don't know, for the sake of their 100 years, I thought it, I thought it fit well. And then there's the story. Admittedly, it, admittedly there are moments where I feel like it could have been a bit fleshed out or could have been told better, but... The concept, while confusing, is inventive. And the way this world works, despite... Like, the world, the, the way this world works, I like. The way magic works... Admittedly, is a little bit li limited, especially with the uh, star, who, by the way, is adorable. Kind of, I don't know, kind of does feel like a Olima. And um, then there's the characters. Um, I liked um, I liked um the protagonist Asha. Um, and given how much I love. The West Side Story remake, it was really exciting seeing Ariana DeBose in another role. And, um... Also, and the, the goats, I can definitely see why so many people would get annoyed by the goat. Heck, from, from the reviews I've seen, they didn't like the goat, but... I don't know, he... He had his moments. It was weird that Alan Tudyk... I think that's how you say it. Alan Tudyk? Alan Tudyk put a deep voice on him. Probably would have been, probably would have fit more if he had a, like a higher kitty-like voice. And I think that would have fitted well with his humor, which sometimes, sometimes I liked, sometimes it was eh. But honestly, my favorite villain, like a lot of other people, was Chris Pine. And let me tell you, it feels. So good to finally have a villain that isn't forgiving, doesn't have a redemption, ha doesn't have that much of a motivation. It re reminding me of the old classic Disney villains like Jafar, Gaston, Ursula, Scar. It feels so good to have this type of villain again and Chris Pine actually does it so well, and his facial expressions with the animation, not gonna lie, I kinda got creeped out by him. A little bit. And, um... I like that Arsh's friends are based on the Seven Dwarfs. I, um... I like how Arsha wants to give his hundred-year-old grandfather, um... <laughs> I'm just realizing, hundred years... How am I really- how am I really just noticing that now? I, I don't know. But yeah, I like how she wants to make sure her grandfather gets her wish, which... explains why she's doing what she's doing, and why she doesn't like her villain's- her king's intentions. And, um... I guess if I, um... I guess- okay, I do have a few, like, not many issues. But, but compared to the issues a lot of other people have, the issues I have are almost non-existent, to be honest. Um, some jokes didn't land, like there was one with the uh, sneezing on cookies and... I don't know, I just... And, like I said, I can see why some people don't like the go, especially his jokes. And... Then, oh, then there's the music. I actually, I actually liked the music, like, my favourites were, um, This Wish, which was the I Want song, which I always, I always like, and This Is The Thanks I Get, which is 
sung by Chris Pine. I, could have, I can also see why people were so incredibly disappointed with the music, especially for a film meant to celebrate Disney's anniversary. Apparently, instead of bringing in someone classic or, or someone who brought in, brought in something amazing for Disney lately, like the people who wrote Frozen, or like the people who wrote the songs for Frozen, or Lin-Manuel Miranda, who did Moana and Encanto, and just in this year's Little Mermaid remake. And, um, but I still thought they did a fine job. Like, though, to be fair, some of, the, some of the songs I wouldn't exactly say I'd return to. Which is kind of ironic, seeing how whenever I watch these musicals, I tend to listen to the soundtrack. But, yeah, um... Basically, yeah, I, I, had a good, I had a good time with Wish. But at the same time, I 100% understand why people are getting disappointed with this movie, why they're hating on it online, why they're calling it a disappointing anniversary culmination. And honestly, I don't really care what opinion they have. I only care about the opinions I have. And my opinion, I liked it. I do really think Disney did good this year, despite their box office numbers. And some of their, I haven't seen all of their movies this year, though I do have Disney Plus, so who knows. Despite, it wasn't, it definitely wasn't a perfect year for Disney. But for my money, I think I'm satisfied with what we got. And what better way to culminate their big anniversary year than with an animated film that brought them back to their roots, sometimes. So I'll give it an 8 out of 10 for Splendid. It was certainly not perfect, and I can understand why people do not take to this movie at all, but I think it was a satisfying combination. But yeah, uh, what did you guys think of Wish, if you've seen it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Which is likely. Did you like it like I did? Did you just think it wasn't that good? Which is also likely response. Or you mixed it between. Let me know down, let me know down in the comments, I'm curious. Uh, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed this review, subscribe if you're new, and ring the bell to be notified on those videos. And um, if you want to support me even further, you can head down to my Patreon page where you can get a shout out if you support me on my videos. You can also support me on my art, but you can also support me for both. That's, um, yeah, that's about it. And until next time, farewell.